Well, it's all well and good to have a great cup of coffee while camping. Um, breakfast is going to be needed, and I've found that while motorcycle camping at least, the easiest way to make breakfast is to have fortified oatmeal. So this is effectively muesli with some dried blueberries and some raisins added to it, and water. So we have eight ounces of water here, uh, pre-measured two-thirds of a cup of dry muesli, a Ziploc bag with some additional raisins and blueberries. For our stove, we're going to be using the um, ethanol stove. So this is basically Everclear 195 diluted to 85% ethanol with a little bit of water in order to make it such that it burns clean and doesn't soot my pot, as well as um, still burns hot. So we're going to be using the Tokes ethanol stove. And I use ethanol because it's non-toxic and has multiple uses. You could use it for, um, in case you get a nick on your finger, you can also make a nice refreshing drink because it's effectively just really intense vodka. So I highly recommend diluting it before use if you plan to drink with it. Um, so this is a Tokes titanium stove that we'll be using. So what we'll do is we will use this medicine vial to measure 13 cc's of ethanol which is plenty to boil eight ounces of water. And we'll put that in here. We'll put the stove together on it. We'll light it, let it come up to a jet boil, and then we'll go ahead and boil the water. Here we have the Snow Peak Titanium Cup, which is both the cooking and serving vessel and a, a polycarbonate spoon and a piece of leather to operate as a hot pad. And since this stove does not simmer, um, this is what's called a pot cozy. So this pot cozy is simply aluminized uh, foil insulation. You can get at, you know, your local uh, home improvement store for wrapping ducks and such, not? So I basically, after I boil and mix it all together, I put it in the cozy, and that, that does the same thing as simmering, and then I can let it set 10 minutes before serving. And then there's just a uh, bag to store the whole system in. So when it's time to put it away, the lighter and the measure and the stove and the support will go in the, uh, in the cup and the cup will go in the cozy, Co cozy will go in the bag. So that's how the entire system packs down. And the coffee cup will go inside of it also with this. So it all packs up pretty small. All right, so step one. Measure out 13 milliliters of 85% ethanol non-toxic stove fuel. We'll pour that in the Tokes titanium stove. 13 milliliters. Lock the safety nut on the stove. Light the stove. Get the fuel sources away from the stove. Relight the stove. All right, stove is lit. Put eight ounces of water in the pot. That's eight ounces. And you can use river water for this or whatever because we're going to be boiling it. And as you can hear, the stove is getting very excitable and has just moved into its jet engine mode. So put the pot stand and windscreen around it. Put the cup on it, making sure to leave an even quarter inch gap all the way around so the flame can wrap around the cup. And we'll put the lid on the cup and just wait for it to boil. Right, the water has come to a boil and when the water comes, once the water comes to a boil, like a full roiling boil, we'll just let it run a few moments and continue to boil until it uh, runs out of ethanol on the stove. But then we have to work really fast. So the challenge is to get the oatmeal in the cup, stir it, get it in the cozy, put the lid on it, put the rubber band around it as quickly as possible to keep from losing heat. So. Boiling, you can see the, see the steam coming off. The 
So we go. Even though there's still some flame happening, we'll get right to this. So, lid off. Oatmeal in. The reason I don't put the oatmeal in ahead of time is because it will burn to the bottom of the pot. So, stir it. Note, I put the stir on the bag to keep it from leaving any food traces on the wood surface I'm working on. I put it in the cozy, put the lid back on the pot, put the lid in the cozy, the insulation lid, spread the handles, put this part up the middle, squeeze it all together, put a rubber band around it. And we just let that set for 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see what we have. So take off the cozy lid, pot lid, take the cup out of the cozy. It's a little sticky because there's some tar in the cup from cooking over a campfire. Give it a quick stir. And we have something which resembles breakfast. So this is fortified muesli, so it's the usual Swiss muesli mix with some dried blueberries and raisins added. So that's breakfast. This is the MSR Dromedary 6 liter bag um, with, the, with the easier to use spigot on it. So this thing here is just really useful in camp all the time. I use this to go down to the river and fill it up with a gallon and a half of water, which I can use for all kinds of washing purposes and rinsing purposes that I would use that I would need water for that doesn't have to be potable water. This is just a quick uh, clip on how all this packs up for travel. So I have the uh, pot support or the pot stand pieces, which are uh, Tokes titanium. So what I first do is I stack these in a way that they sit comfortably together. What I do is I wrap them around the cup. I take these and I put it inside the boiling pot. It presses in like so. Then I take the pot stand, or the, uh, sorry, the stove, and I take the leather pot holder and it fits inside like so. Next to that, I can put the lighter, and then I put the lid on that boil pot. I put it inside the cozy. I put the cozy lid in the cozy. I put the rubber band around it, and then I can take my pour over I could fit that inside the top. Then from there, I take a sil nylon bag and I could run that over this whole system. Or I drop it inside of it. Probably easier. Then I take the pot support tent pegs, which are also titanium, and slip them in there. And the entire cook system packs down to, yeah, about that size. And my hands are not big. So that is my entire camp cooking system.